It was a lot of that nonsense that was just happening this year. It was with all those uh, drag queens in Houston, which a lot of them were trans, and they were wanting to expose themselves to young children. I don't care if you want to have your drag shows in public or wherever, as long as excluded to consenting adults. I, I don't even care what you do. Again, why are we bringing the children? They need to be out there being children, you know, playing with their dolls or toys or building the forge, riding their bikes, playing their video games, doing whatever. No, what have they got to do with drag shows? Well, you forgot learning how to put on condoms. Uh, That's what I'm saying. It's like, learning how to take birth control. It's like. Mo- Those are things kids do. When you get to maybe the adolescent age, when you're a teenager, what's a five, six, seven year old got to do with anything like that? Well, that one woman on uh, Pierce Morgan's show, you know, she was advocating for consent. So children, you know, she's advocating for consent. Yeah, see, that's for, that whole nut. Children. That's the next level. It's like, yeah, that that child definitely has full cognitive comprehension of what's going on. We're not even talking about sexual proclivity. We're just talking about reality. Like this little baby actually knows somehow the reality in enough comprehension it can make life choices. Yeah, if you look at the word consent, it's con, which means with, and sent, which is short for sentient or sense. So you have with consciousness. You're consciously giving uh, consent. (laughs) <laughs> anyways <laughs> i don't know i think this is uh it's not even a slippery slope to me it's just ridiculous fight for the things that are within the constructions of consent for adults cool and there's a debate for that and we need to have that conversation and i'm all for that there there shouldn't be any integration with children if anything why don't we make a bathroom just for children like only children can go in there but then you got these stupid adults who want to say, I identify as a child. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you can't. That's just, that should always be illegal. Because that's a mental disorder. And I, that's just quantified. You are, what well, we're going to identify. Anymore, I know, not. you're going to be identifying a number. It's an age. In fact, if it's you an abstraction. Are, you could lose your uh, practice, practicing license if you're a, a psychiatrist or psychologist who is saying that that's not a mental, or that it, that is a mental. Well, it's a dysphoria of a type, clearly. We won't say it's common and normal within society. People are not going to hire you for a job if you, don't, if you can't quantify an age. If you go up to a boss and you say, yeah, I identify as an eight-year-old boy, they're not hiring you. What if you identify as hired? They're going to identify you as fired. Uh, you could be, you know, but gender assigning your building too like your building didn't actually say any of that but now you're just speaking on its behalf and assigning a gender to it yeah but you're you're making everything gets these pre-assumptions like if you say you identify as a one-year-old and then you identify with a sexual proclivity that gives you the notion that it transcends to the idea that these children also have a sexual proclivity at one years old just talking about this is just beyond nonsensical. You can't even create categories for this because just by doing that itself is giving it more leverage than it deserves. Yeah, I'm actually shocked at all these offenders who are offending people sexually. I'm actually shocked that they don't say stuff like that. Like <clears throat> that guy who, uh, well, there's many. Uh, these people are coming out as offending people sexually. All they have to do. And it's, but not specifically sexually offending minors. All they have to do is identify as a little boy or girl, and that the judge should let them off the hook. It's like I am a, uh, I'm actually their age. I'm 15. I identify as a 15 year old man to the judge, and they should theoretically be able to get off scot free. Well, whatever it is, there's a limit at some point. We, if we want laws, there has to be categories. The law does not work without a category. It's just impossible. Everything can't be subjective where there's no law. Law is binary by default. If you want to have something called innocent and guilty, there has to be something called guilty and something called innocent. And that requires for real categories to have real definitions and real things that will always be this real thing. And if not, then there's no such thing as a law. No. For now. Well, forever. That's just how things work. 
let's say the trans community gets offended. It goes and wants to file a lawsuit. Well, how do you file a lawsuit unless there's an absolute definition of something illegal? Yeah, see, but you asking them that question is just going to offend them more, and they're going to get upset. But how do you get offended questions. unless there's something definitely offensive? I don't know. That's between them and the judge. Somehow they work the judges in mysterious ways. Well, working the judge requires a definitive yes, thing. It does, but this is that computer emotional stuff. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just saying, if we won categories... You're going to have to have something definitive. And, yeah. and if you want the law, the law requires definitive definitions. Yeah. 